Hello out to all you wonderful people. This is Andre the Game Idea Guy. Thank you once again for giving me your time and your ear and listening into another video from me. I'm going to be talking about the changes coming to Fire Emblem Heroes that seem to be getting misreported. Um, <laughs> which is sad because in the game, in the actual app, it tells you exactly what's going on. And I kind of wonder why exactly it is that these... Uh, news outlets are reporting it incorrectly so <laughs> firstly they're bringing back instances of permadeath which is basically like what you get with the events currently where if your character like certain events if your characters die like if you're against another player like you're taking on somebody else's uh, team if one of your characters dies you can't revive them during that match that's exactly what they're doing <laughs> so instead of with the situations where when you're trying to get a, a, another character like you're trying to earn a character by beating them where once one character dies you completely lose hello Issa my cat um, <laughs> once one of them once one of your characters dies you can still continue on you just can't revive them during that match that's all it is so you don't actually lose any characters. And people have been, like I've seen people getting in an uproar about this. And then I go and check the app and I look at what they say. I'm like, really? Like, I can report this right the first time? When all of the information is available to you, you can't report this right off the break? Like, like it's, my Nintendo News is one of the ones I saw. And I'm like, you reported half of the information. So that you can get clicks. And then you end up coming back with the other half. But too bad for you. People were already commenting on your video, on your uh, article, or your blog post, which is what it actually is. They already beat you to it. They already basically spilled the beans and let everybody know that you're bullshitting us. This is my problem with with gaming uh, news sites. Cause when all of the information is clearly available they'll give you half of it and they know that the the majority of people that will check their stuff won't actually go look they won't actually go to the source that these people are getting their information from they'll just be like okay well I can say this this will generate clicks and this will bring people back to me and then I can possibly give the rest of the information later Instead of just giving everything right up front and giving it correctly as possible. But hey, that's this is journalism right now. This is gaming journalism. This is what you guys want, right? But thank you very much for listening. Keep your eyes and ears up for more stuff from me. And until the next time, please enjoy your games and peace out.